Welcome back, guys. In this video, we're going to be talking about encapsulation. Okay, the one of the one of the uh, oops concept you could say, and how do we achieve encapsulation? Is um, we can actually create getters and setters, and why we create getters and setters, um, we'll go over all those things as well. So first, let's go ahead and let's create a let's create a new package. Let's just call it encapsulation and finish. So in here, let's go ahead and create class, right? Uh, let's let's call this. I'm gonna call this main class, and I'm gonna have a main method in here. Yeah, I'm gonna close out this modifier one. And then I'm going to create another one that just says regular class, right? No main method, just a regular class. And I'm naming it as is, just so it's easy to visualize. Okay. And um, let's do this. So what is encapsulation, right? Encapsulation is basically hiding sensitive data from the users, right? That's basically what it means. And how do we declare or how do we achieve encapsulation is by declaring a class as private and writing public method in the class. And that's the reason why we create getters and setters. So let's write down a couple of definitions, right? Uh, we can say what is encaps encapsulation, right? Let me actually go ahead and create a multi-line comment. What is encapsulation, right? And another one. How do we? Achieve encapsulation. Okay. Encapsulation is um, encapsulation is basically hiding sensitive data from users or public, right? And how do we achieve this is we achieve this, we achieve this by um, declaring all class variables as private. That's private. Okay. Um, so how do we get this? How do we get these variables, right? How can we use these variables? Use this private variables, right? Again, we talked about um, all the different all the different types of modifiers that is here, right? All these different types that we have, uh, public, private, default, protected, and all these different ones, right? And and as you as you said right here, with the private code can code is accessible only within the declared class, not outside, right? So how do we actually get them from this from the private class to the other ones, right? How do we actually do that? And how we do this? Um, we can access private variables from, from outside of the class by creating getters and setters. Again, in this video, we're going to be talking about all this. How do we actually do this thing? So, 
So let's go ahead and let's actually do this thing. So in general, right? So you have getters and setters. Getters, so what is getters? Getters, and then we have setters. Getters, basically how we, um, how we uh, get the value, right? Uh, get method basically returns the uh, the variable value. Uh, returns the variable value and setters. It's just the opposite. It sets the value. Okay, that's basically all that is. So let's go ahead. I know this is uh getting to be a long video. So let's just get this thing on. Uh, so it'll be easier for you guys to do this thing. So you have regular class, right? In this regular class, let's say I have uh, private um, private string name, okay? Okay, name. And then let's say we have uh, private int age. Right, so in my main class, here I'll actually put this side by side so you guys can see it differently. Oh, by the way, how I did that is you can literally just drag it, right? You can just drag it and just put it over there. That's how you do it. Or you can just click on it, just try to drag it outside a little bit, and then you have this right window show up as well. You just let go and this creates it that way. Okay, just a little check for you. So, anyways, so we have this regular class and have this main class, right? So, in the main class, if I want to if I want to see this this private string, so let's say normally, how what do we do? We create an object of the class, right? Wherever we want to create something. So, you have regular class. So, let's say we have regular class. And again, it shows this in, this part of encapsulation package. So this, and then I have this regular again control space that'll just do this thing. This equals new, okay, and then regular class. So I have that. I just created an object. Okay, uh, I'm just trying to push this thing a little bit further. There you go. So I have this regular class, right? I created an object also called regular class, which is the lowercase r. So now, if I was trying to do regular class, which is this this one, dot, see, I don't have any of these things show up here, right? I, this, this string name, string age, I don't have any of these things show up. So what do I have to do? I have to create getters and setters, right? And there are multiple ways to do this thing. So let us first see how we can actually create it. And then I will show you the easy way out as well later on. So this is getter, right? And then setter. So with getter, what do you have to do? We have to declare it public um, string because that's the string we have over here, right? And then we can say, this is get name. So you can say, I'm sorry, hold on. Yeah, yeah no, I'm right, yeah. Get, get name, there we go. So public string get name. And the reason I have this is because I don't have any return method over here, right? It's because again, remember, because we said, we, we declare what type it is, we have to say a return method. The return type over here is a string. You have to set that. If I hover over it right there, it says add return statement, right? So if I go over here and I just say return name, that would be good enough. Now, as we talked about on the other uh, on the previous lesson as well, that sometimes if we have something declared over here, sometimes this this thing, uh, the variable name would get confused, right? So in this case, what I can do is I can just say this dot name, and that would basically by using this keyword this, it will basically say that name. I'm referring to this one. Again, this is not requirement, but I do this as a good practice. So that way uh, I'm not ever making a mistake. Okay. Okay, cool. So now how, since we created a get name, let's now create a set. And how do you do a set, which is 
public void set name. Again, right, there's literally no difference. For the getter, we have the return type, but we just said a public string or int or whatever, and then it's a get name. And the, for the setter, just public void, just setting the name, right? And in the set name, you have to pass in a variable. So let's say string name, okay? I'm putting in the same thing, uh, same variable name as I have over here, same type of, same, I'm using the same name as the variable. So over here, I can say, again, if I say name equals name, right? If I don't use this keyword over here, now it doesn't know which one am I actually referring to, right? So in this case, I'm just gonna say this dot name, okay? Now this is happy, now this is referring to this, and then this is also getting referred to this, okay? Now, if I do dot, now I have this get name and then I have this set name, right? So if I do set name and let's say I say John, right? And if I want to get that name, what I can do is uh, regular class dot I'm sorry, not set, but get, if I want to get the name, right? And I run this thing, it gives me John, okay, great. But it still doesn't give me this uh, age yet, right? So what I can do, I can do the same thing again. Let's say, you know, I have only two over here, so this is easy, but let's say I have multiple of them. I have, let's say 30, 40, 50 things uh, declared over here. Again, you know, there might be time when that happens, uh, but you know, so but it's easy to just, instead of typing it out over and over again. Sometimes it's good if you just uh, if you can just make the life easier. So what you can do, you can just um, sorry, where's my mouse? So what you what you can do over here? Uh, my apologies, my mouse is uh, acting up. Okay. So what you can do over here? You can just you can just right click, right? And if you go to source, and over here, you see that you have getters and setters. Right now, I don't have that age created, right? So I can go up there, this will show up. Again, the reason name didn't show up is because I already created it. And over here, if I if I hook this, again, you see this get age and set age. I don't have to do both of them. I can just uncheck one of them if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna select both of them, right? And then you don't have to do anything with over here. Just leave it as is and then just hit generate. Again, you see this for the age as well. It showed up right there. Now, now if I wanted to um if I wanted to let's say regular class dot set age, you see, beforehand I didn't even have this show up, right? Right now it's showing up. Set age, let's say I say uh 25, right? And if I wanted to do as out regular class dot get age right now I can actually do this now I can run it and it gives me John 25 okay all right guys hope hopefully this was helpful to you guys if you guys do have any questions please do comment uh please do like subscribe and share thank you so much everyone have a good day